Welcome to my channel Dharma Weeks. In this video I painted some butterflies. Come along for the process. I started with a canvas board that I already put down a layer of black and I'm following that up by sponging on a layer of black and green. I'm using a sponge because I want the texture. I want a little bit of tooth on that background and also it doesn't leave any brush strokes for the large area. In the background though I'm going to be using two different greens, a nice deep green and a yellowish green and I'm just going to be painting on these organic shapes. I want to kind of illustrate some vegetation in the far background kind of out of focus. So I'm just using my brush in mostly a stippling motion to create all of these little distinct clusters and shapes. And I'm just varying the colors, mixing them right on the brush. I've brought in a little bit of white and I've lightened that yellowish green quite a lot and um, I'm using it to create something that could look like clusters of wildflowers. Those little white wildflowers that are so common in meadows. I'm also using a really stiff uh, bristle brush um, and like holding it horizontally just to like mark the canvas and create more of that fuzzy, out-of-focus illusion. Also going in with a detail brush just to bring in actually some shapes that are still like in the background but a little bit closer. Um, just a little bit more in focus. And that's what it looks like at this stage. I of course leave this layer to completely dry. And I'm going to start to work on the foreground. I want to create these simple, unassuming flowers for the butterflies to actually rest on. So I've chosen a more bluish green um, to stand out in front of the background. And I'm just blocking in the shapes, kind of deciding what's going to go where at this stage. Then I mixed a little bit of black um, into my paint so that I get a darker shade but before I go further I realized I actually need to decide exactly where the butterflies are going to be so I'm just going in with a regular pencil and just sketching in the really basic shape of the butterflies I'm actually painting the yellow clouded butterflies and I looked up some photos on Google and I'm really looking at the reference and trying to replicate in a realistic manner. Because my process involves painting the background first, I decided to go in with some white and block out the actual shape of the butterflies just so that it becomes a lot easier when I'm trying to build up color on them. A nice opaque white uh, make this a lot easier for me. And that's where we are now, sort of like ghosts of the butterflies to be. Now that I know exactly where the butterflies are, I want to bring in more of those flowers so that it looks like they're actually standing on them, feeding on the nectar. So I'm just creating a little cluster, trying to make it look like they're just behind the butterfly that's facing us. And I'm gonna concentrate on the flowers first. Um, really trying to make the shapes uh, three-dimensional by using the contrast of the darkest uh, shadows and brightest highlights. These flowers are fictional but they're inspired by some photo references I got. I wanted them to be a little fuller, a little bit more interesting than 
what I was seeing in the photos of the butterflies. With great care trying to suggest this rounded shape on the base of the flowers. And then I'm actually going to make the petals a nice peach color. First just blocking in the shapes and they are mostly all turned away from us like reaching upwards so we see them from the side but I decided to make just one kind of like facing us so that I have like a fuller one and a little close-up of what I've got so far just struggling to focus the camera <laughs> After that first layer of peach, I mixed a much darker color and going in for shading. I want it to look like there's lots of small petals kind of like bunched together in these flowers. I'm putting the darker closer to the base and leaving the tips lighter. I also wanted a variation as far as the openness of the flowers went so that some of them are still more like buds and others are more fully open. And of course the one that's facing us I actually got to paint the interesting middle. I always like uh, to paint the middle of the flowers. They are just so fascinating. The complexity of the stamens and everything that's in there is just beautiful. When I'm done with the flowers, I'm turning my attention to the butterflies finally and I'm just blocking in a nice yellow to give me a good start. And I mixed uh, quite a liquidy olive green just so I can put in the shapes, the veining on the wings of the butterflies and kind of have an idea of exactly what goes where. And this is the stage where I'm like really paying attention to um, the reference photos and I even found like one of those classical botanical type drawings of the clouded yellow that really helped um, because it's a lot clearer on the illustration than I can figure out just by looking at photos. Big decision time going in with actual black to pick out those spots and the nice black edges of the wings of the butterfly. So what's interesting about this butterfly, it's literally two-sided. So when it has its wings open, it has this beautiful black framing around the nice yellow wings. But when the, its wings is closed, um, that black disappears and only a faint uh, thin line can be seen from it and it's mostly greenish yellow. And this way I guess it can be easy to believe that there are two different butterflies but actually it's just the one playing games with us. And that's why I decided that this is going to be the composition of my painting. I wanted to show off that it's the same butterfly, but with two different sides. I am slowly building up color on the wings. I'm using a detail brush so I can be very careful of the pattern and I'm mixing greens and yellows and a little bit of white. I'm just trying to replicate the butterfly quite realistically, but I'm not striving for hyper-realism. I still want it to feel like it's my painting and that some kind of artistic decisions have been made. And with the finishing touches on the body, the big butterfly is done. 
So I'm turning my attention to the small one on the top and basically going through the same process, segment by segment, layering in the color on those wings, referencing the photos that were up on a screen right in front of me, and striving for some kind of accuracy. And that's it. With that, my painting is done. This is actually several days worth of I had to leave it to dry many times in between stages and what I've shown you was very sped up and I skipped the boring parts. This painting is actually a commit. If you would be interested in having me paint something for you, please don't hesitate to contact me. You can find info in the description below. This was such a delight to paint from the beginning to the end. Every step of it was pleasant and I didn't really struggle with it. Then again, the subject of the painting is just so beautiful. I love these lovely little yellow butterflies. They may be common, but they're so delightful to see in the wild. I'm going to let you enjoy some close-up photos. Please do tell me in the comments what you think about this painting. I would love to hear some feedback. If you enjoy painting process videos and other crafty projects, please consider subscribing to my channel. I will be posting a new video every week. Thank you for watching. I hope you're having a nice day. Bye!